West Tip is one of theirs early on. Uh, Bonanza Boy on the outside of it in direct approach. They're levelling up to the first of the 24 fences. And as they come to take the first, Bonanza Boy on direct approach, and they're all safely over the first share of the lead. Charter Party is third. West Tip four. Mr. Frisk wide with an Uppsala of five and six. And then comes Arctic Stream. Behind these comes Castle Warden, and they face their first ditch. And it's direct approach who led at it. And they're all safely over the ditch. And they're punching up front with Napsala, making ground on the outside of Miska Frisk, and the pace is a steady one. And as they race up past the post with two complete circuits of the course in front of them, and it's direct approach leading by half a length. And Mr. Frisk and Charter Party and West Tip Wide Arctic Stream and Napsala and Brown Windsor, and then Castle uh, Warden and have a Barney and the Thinker and Sam Da Vinci and Bonanza Boy settled in behind. And at this stage, Yahoo is last, but one last of all is Terrace Valley. Burling Jack is at the back, so too High Edge Grey and Durham Edition, and they race past us and they swing right handed and down to the third fence. And it's direct approach leading for Richard Rowe. Charter Party on the outside of it is in the green jacket that just shows second, West Tip third. Mr. Frisk, normally a front runner, is four, and then comes Castle Warden and have a bar Barney and Arctic Stream. And behind these comes Brown Windsor and then Seagram on the inside of the Thinker and Napsala and Sam Da Vinci and High Edge Grey. Wide is Durham Edition and the leaders are at the third and the leaders skip over safely and they're all safely over the third. Paris Valley and Bonanza Boy, the back markers, and they swing into the back stretch where they jump seven fences. And it's direct approach leading by a length and a half to two to Mr. Frisk and Charter Party. And then behind these comes West Tip on the inside of Brown Windsor and Arctic Stream. And then Castle Warden and Seagram when they take the fourth. And Charter Party was slow at it. Bonanza Boy is the back marker. And it's direct approach leading as they come in towards the fifth. Direct approach over safely. Mr. Frisk is second. They're all over the fifth with West Tip now in third. Brown Windsor in four. And behind that is Arctic Stream on the outside. And they take the second ditch. And again, Charter Party was a bit slow. Bonanza Boy still the back marker and they uh, race down towards the seventh, which is the water jump. And it's direct approach leading by two to Mr. Frisk and West Tip on the inside. And then comes Brown Winds of Wide Arctic Stream, Wider still in Napsala, and Sam Da Vinci and Bonanza Boy is still last, and they head down towards the eighth. And it's direct approach leading in the black with a red cap. Mr. Frisk with the yellow sleeves, Charter Party and Brown Winds are in behind. West Tip on the extreme left of the picture, Napsala on the extreme right. And they all take the eighth safely, a very short run to the ninth. And as they come into it, it's direct approach leading. Direct approach from Mr. Frisk on the outside and they're all safely over the ninth Bedanza boy is last but not more than 15 lengths off the leader which is a direct approach and that takes the last on the far side and they've all safely jumped in in this 33rd running of the whip red gold cup and it's direct approach clear by three over West Tip in second and Mr. Frisk wide is third charter party is settled in four then Brown Windsor and Arctic Stream and behind that is Castle uh, Warden these are then followed by Burling Jack, who's mid-division, and High Edge Grey, mid-division, Napsala is wide with Arctic Stream. And then comes Durham Edition and Sam Da Vinci in behind them, and just after these comes Hava Barney, and they come down towards the 11th. And it's direct approach, still clear of his field. Clear by four over Mr. Frisk in second, and West Tip with the blue with the black sash on the inside. Direct approach, Mr. Frisk, West Tip. And they take the pond fence, and they all take it safely. Bonanza Boy is the back marker, and I don't think he's enjoying it yet. And they've got two Two miles left to race and it's direct approach leading and they come down towards the 12th of the 24 they're halfway so it's direct approach in the lead direct approach leading as they come down towards the 13th direct approach clear by five over Mr. Frisk and Arctic Stream, Napsala and Charter Party and West Tip and Sam Da Vinci and they take that ditch which the leader skips over and they're all safely over the ditch and so the order as they pass us is that direct approach leads from West Tip and Sam Da Vinci and Charter Party and Mr. Frisk and Arctic Stream and Brown Windsor and Seagram and then on the inside is Castle Warden and there's a tremendous crowd here Napsala is wide as they race past the post, Burling Jack mid-division, the Thinker pushed, pushed along on the inside, and uh, the Thinker is being ridden along. Doesn't seem to be enjoying Paris Valley, is behind it. Yahoo is last, but one Bonanza Boy last of all, and John Oates at this stage, Bonanza Boy not going well at all. No, he, it's not the first time, mind you, that he's been out of a race and then got into it. You remember the racing post chase at Kempton. Nevertheless, Bonanza Boy does look unhappy. He's been jumping a little bit stickily. It will be a miracle even by Peter Scudamore's standards if he can get him into the race. But you'd have a job to name a lot more guaranteed losers. They're all close enough at the moment. Direct approach going really well in the lead, and Sam Da Vinci and West Tip not far behind him. 
And Havabani is starting to drop away. And Yahoo is uh, only got two behind it. Those two are Havabani, <laughs> Havabani and Bonanza Boy. And it's direct approach leading. Sam Da Vinci comes through into second place. Charter Party third. And West Tip and Brown Windsor. And then Arctic Stream jumping well on the outside. These are followed by uh, Durham Edition. And wide is Burling Jack. And then comes Castle Warden and Napsala. And behind Napsala is High Edge Grey. Burling Jack a mistake there. Still four clear of the thinker. Yahoo yet to make ground. Havabani behind these. Then Paris Valley and Mr. Frisk is tailing off. And uh, last of all is Bonanza Boy jumped it slowly, but up front it's still direct approach, yet to be headed from Sam Da Vinci in second place, showing third is Castle Warden, four on the inside, Brown Windsor, with it is West Tip, and behind that one uh, comes Durham Edition, and then Castle Warden making ground, and then Arctic Stream, and Burling Jack tries to get back into contention, and at the rear of the field is now Paris Valley, Mr. Frisch and Madanza Boy, I shouldn't think they'll be winning, neither the thinker, that's only got three behind it, and there, Castle Warden made a mistake, and they go down towards the fifth from home, and it's direct approach from the front, Sam Da Vinci on the outside, Charter Party gets closer, Brown Windsor in the blue sleeves, Burling Jack in behind it, going as well as any, then Durham Edition and West Tip on the inside, followed by Castle Warden and Arctic Stream, and this is sorting the men from the boys, and Paris Valley is tailed off, and Mr. Frisk is tailed off, and the Thinker is tailed off, and Bonanza Boy is tailed off, and Hava Barney is tailed off, but it's Sam Da Vinci, and as they turn into the home straight, Lorcan Wire can't believe how easily he's going, he's in the lead, but direct approach is on the outside of it, look at, at, uh, at Charter Park getting much closer in third, Berlin Jacket can't draw that one out either, closer five is Brown Windsor, and then comes West Tip, and behind that Durham Edition, and behind that one Castle Warden, and they come down towards the third from home, and Berlin Jack on the outside, but Sam Da Vinci just has it, uh, that was Durham Edition, Nupsala, Seagram, that's Havabani, and then High Edge Grey, but they've got two to jump in the 33rd running of the Whitbread, and it's Sam Da Vinci in the cross belts and the pale jacket, Berlin Jack on the right, charter party between them, then in the blue sleeves comes Brown wins and they're five clear of West Tiff who's fifth and it's Sam Da Vinci who's quick and clear as they come down towards the final fence. Sam Da Vinci in the lead from Brown Windsor in second. Charter Party is third, a tremendous lead by Sam Da Vinci from Brown Windsor in second. Charter Party is third, and then comes West Tip staying on well up the hill. But it's Sam Da Vinci in the lead. Brown Windsor puts in a tremendous finish, and the hill could change matters again. And up towards the line, Brown Windsor gets it from Sam Da Vinci and Charter Party. West Tip is four and after extreme five, and Burning Jack, Jack a brave six then Castle Warden and Napsala and Seagram and behind these have a Barney and behind that one was Durham Edition then High Edge Grey, Yahoo completed but direct approach pulled up Mr Frisk pulled up, Paris Valley was probably last of all and so the result of this, the 33rd running of the Whitbread Gold Cup the hill has changed matters again but there's Bonanza Boy, he pulled up too, so no glory for Peter Scudamore in this Whitbread Gold Cup but of which the outcome is a win for number 13, Brown Windsor, in the colours of Mr. Bill Shan Kidd, owned in partnership by him, and Mr. Michael Buckley, the 12 to 1 winner, trained at uh, Lambourne by Nick Henderson and uh, ridden by Michael Bowby. I'm preempting the judge. Officially, it's a photograph. Looking down the field, I can tell you that the thinker was pulled up too. On our evidence, no doubt about it, Brown Windsor has won. And oh, so near, but oh, so far before. For, Poor Sam Da Vinci in the colours of the, the executives of the late John Wilson. Trained at Grimsby, would you believe, by John Blundell, who has a tremendous record uh, with decent staying chasers. Lorcan Wire rode it. The third horse home we'll find was Charter Party. He jumped well today in a...